My name is Brittany Murray, and I'm a patient living with psoriatic arthritis. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about prior authorizations. As many of you have probably experienced, every 12 months, I need a new prior authorization for my specialty medication. In the past, I've been blessed with a wonderful care team that had a dedicated resource to prior authorizations, and they would get them done before they were due. So amazing. Lately, I've not had that benefit, and last year, it really showed. Let me take you to December 21st, 2022. I went into the Acredo application and ordered my Trimphia refill. The refill request appeared to have gone through fine with their automated system, and it told me the medication would be delivered on the 30th. Perfect, I thought. That is five days early with some breathing room for the holidays. Fast forward to December 30th, and I'm wondering where my medication is. I've not seen any emails or phone calls telling me it was delayed or notifying me of any issues. I called Credo, and they said I needed a prior authorization for my doctor. Did they tell me you're my doctor? Nope. Most doctors don't have a process to automatically do the prior authorization for you. They wait for an issue or you to bring it up. I called the doctor's office on January 2nd because, of course, they were closed for the holidays, and I asked for my prior authorization. They sent it to a creative the same day, which is honestly really fast. When did the pharmacy finish processing that prior authorization? January 10th, seven days after I was due for my injection. So to summarize, I put my refill request in 13 days before I was due for my injection and received it 10 days after I was due for my injection. It makes total sense that they needed 23 days to get it to me. Not. Consider this. 23 days is fast in some of these scenarios. Sometimes it can take months to get your medication approved, even when you have already been taking it for a year and you're just wanting your next dose. I was lucky in that regard, but it did not matter. Those 23 days gave my body enough time to reject the medication, leaving me without a treatment. One year later, and I still don't have a treatment that works as well as Trimphia did at that time. Prior authorizations, especially ones that have to be renewed, cost patients better outcomes. Mm -hmm.